verdad que llama llama mucho la atención a veces a uno mismo tú ves cuando uno mira para atrás porque porque uno se inclinó por, por hacer rock en un país que normalmente no es conocido por, por tal cosa porque si nosotros somos merengue si somos ya si somos música raíz si somos música electrónica cualquier cosa porque ya tenemos eso dentro como como ciudadanos del mundo y lo decimos de una forma muy particular porque todavía somos dominicanos Located in the middle of the Caribbean, the Dominican Republic has become a melting pot, being bombarded by Europe, South America, and of course the U.S., with fashion and music the most influenced aspects in the last 20 years. What today is still known as the land of merengue is morphing into a mini version of Madrid or New York as an alternative cultural movement has spread and seems to grow by the hour. <laughs> with the craze the Beatles brought to America, what today is known as Dominican rock, begun with a few bands trying to mimic the sounds they heard on the radio. Singing in English and made up mostly of upper middle class band members, the interest for playing this type of music neither grew or decreased, as access to TV and radio was very limited. Among those who picked up a guitar, playing rock tunes in his early age, is Luis Diaz, who besides his many contributions to the conception of what bachata is today, has become a pioneer and the one and only influential figure in the mixing of native musical folk sounds with electric guitar riffs. <laughs> Berkeley College of Music's alumnus and international merengue and bachata superstar Juan Luis Guerra also started up his adventure as a musician influenced by rock. But like him, many enthusiasts of the genre made the switch to playing the traditional rhythms, as the rock industry never represented a profitable way of making a living. With the arrival of MTV and the spread of access to cable in Santo Domingo, a newer wave of rockers stepped on mimicking the sounds of hardcore bands like Metallica and Iron Maiden. Massive concerts became popular and places like El Auditorio Dominico Americano and the Meadow House, the spots of reunion for rock aficionados. Eso era una casa abandonada que tenía un salón grande arriba. Las tarimas las teníamos que cargar nosotros. Esos conciertos se hacían era a plantazo puro. Hubo una oportunidad que se fue a la luz. Eh, la gente que estuvo ahí todavía se acuerda. A 
However, it was in the 90s where today's legendary Dominican rock band, Toque Profundo, first played before gaining national recognition. Hicimos para ver como que yo hicimos una mezcolanza de cosas y la gente le llamó mucho la atención que nosotros éramos tan diferentes a lo que sea que estaba pasando. Primero, para comenzar, yo tenía o tengo seis cuartos, soy negro. En aquella época tenía un, un flat top grandísimo y la gente le impresionó mucho. Shortly after, Toque Profundo's lead guitar and co-founder Leo Susana went solo forming his own band, Jodio Loco Sucio, and becoming one of the driving forces in the scene with epic massive concerts that gained him a loyal fan base. Buenas noches Santo Domingo, nosotros somos JLS, y esta es La Onda Foto. Toda esa energía que a veces es negativa, yo la absorbo y la escupo a través de mi música. Y esa es mi manera de, de, de quizá no explotar. Mi música es mi medicina. Yo estoy claro que yo no puedo vivir sin música. A mí no me importa si yo no puedo vivir de la música. Eso no es lo que me interesa, es que yo no puedo vivir sin ella. O sea, si subirme en un escenario y expresarme o grabar o componer, yo no puedo vivir sin esa vaina. Es para mí una necesidad. Meanwhile, in New York, Henry Menas La Ruta created a buzz becoming part of the growing rock en español movement while being the only permanent Dominican representation in the big city. <laughs> sueños de, de MTV, de estar filmado, todas esas cosas, fuimos a Nueva York, eh, empezamos a tocar en clubes locales y hacer cosas así. En MCC llegó a un punto en la que teníamos un disco en el mercado, teníamos un video afuera, eh, habíamos hecho un par de giritas. Para mí el clímax de, de nuestra experiencia, poder regresar a casa y traer nuestra experiencia y nuestra música y compartirlo con la gente y, y enseñarle que, o sea, que, que al final del día, aunque vivamos en Nueva York y estemos aquí todos, al final del día somos dominicanos y siempre lo vamos a hacer y, y, y ese era el orgullo máximo para nosotros, regresar y poder tocar y, y, y básicamente volver a pisar tierra y, y hacerlo con nuestros términos, no ser, o sea, no regresar, por ejemplo, con las colas entre las piernas, sino regresar victorioso y con, y con algo que queremos compartir con la gente. Entonces ese disco es básicamente la voz de nosotros, los tres muchachos, diciendo Wow, que cuánta falta no hace nuestro país, pero sin embargo estamos aquí ya y vamos a luchar para seguir para adelante y vamos a cumplir con todo lo que todo lo que queremos hacer. Yeah. 
Though the biggest buzz done by a Dominican band in the U.S. was Toque Profundo's fifth release promotional tour in 2003, the band managed to attract media attention with a guest appearance at Music Choice and a rocking live show performance on Sirius Satellite Radio. <laughs> What's up, everybody? My name is Jose, coming from Sirius National Broadcast Studios, and I've got Toca Profunda right in front of me. And I'm, I'm going to say something real quickly here. I'm, I'm going to go online here say something. I've never heard an independent band sound as good as you guys have. Solo Dios sabe por qué huyo. Voy a tomar lo tuyo. Del tercer mundo al primero. No sabe al viajero. Por el puñado sin la mano de ningún lado. Libre pero está. With the advancement of technology, the number of low-budget albums has increased in the past few years. Home-based studios and digital recording have given bands solid results with minimal resources. Now it's much more difficult to edit a disc. Before, when it was a dream, I remember when I was doing the first group that I made a disc. And people said, you're crazy, why are you doing that? And from there on, anyone can make a disc. Because at the end, it didn't result commercially, but this alone allowed the release of over a dozen Dominican rock CDs in 2003 and the making of several videos such as the controversial clip Aquí No Es from rebellious hardcore band Santuario. Susana's take against twisted Dominican politicians, Diputado Man. Web pages have also helped Dominican rock's popularity increase. A number of these portals specialize on different genre and showcase bands with interviews. Though the Dominican music industry still ignores the genre and wouldn't risk to invest in promoting it, the number of active bands increased furiously, and concerts like 2003's Nación Guerrera and this year's Anivelde.com Rock Festival showcased a great number of acts to the masses being the latter, a two-day fest that took over the newly opened Auditorium de Santo Domingo.
While Dominicans don't have a Juanes or a band like Mana touring all over the world, it's undeniable that hard work done through the years by these talented artists has come a long way. With over 75 bands actively spread over the major cities, the use of technology, and the success of Dominicans abroad, it's just a matter of time before one of them goes mainstream, putting Dominican in bold letters in the alternative music scene. Llamar la atención de alguien que quiera invertir, que crea en el proyecto, que crea que se le puede sacar dinero. Porque yo creo que sí. Pero hay que buscar ese alguien, hay que buscar ese lugar. Y hay que buscar esa gente que está dispuesta a hacer el sacrificio. Para que la música se oiga. Mientras tanto yo sigo haciendo mi parte. Aquí, allá, donde sea, donde me permitan cantar o me den un espacio ahí. Porque donde quiera que yo vaya yo soy dominicano y canto rock. Para eso vivo.
Porque si nosotros somos merengue, si somos ya, si somos música raíz, si somos música electrónica, cualquier cosa, porque ya tenemos eso dentro como, como ciudadanos del mundo. Y lo decimos de una forma muy particular porque todavía somos dominicanos. Located in the middle of the Caribbean. que llama llama mucho la atención a veces a uno mismo tú ves cuando uno mira para atrás porque porque uno se inclinó por, por hacer rock en un país que normalmente no es conocido por por tal cosa who besides his many contributions to the conception of what bachata is today, has become a pioneer and the one and only influential figure in the mixing of native musical folk sounds with electric guitar riffs. The Dominican Republic has become a melting pot, being bombarded by Europe, South America, and of course the U.S., with fashion and music the most influenced aspects in the last 20 years. What today is still known as the land of merengue is morphing into a mini version of Madrid or New York as an alternative cultural movement has spread and seems to grow by the hour. <laughs> with the craze the Beatles brought to America, what today is known as Dominican rock, begun with a few bands trying to mimic the sounds they heard on the radio. Singing in English and made up mostly of upper middle class band members, the interest for playing this type of music neither grew or decreased, as access to TV and radio was very limited. Among those who picked up a guitar, playing rock tunes in his early age, is Luis Diaz. 